We have talked about the secret societies, the skull and bones, the deep state, the establishment over and over again. People really have to see who these people are bowing down to to understand how this is working and where this all leads back to. Beyond all the different religions, all the different labels, Democrat, Republican, left, right, anti this, pro this, all these different things create an atmosphere of pure division. Not only out here during an election time between the people that are fighting against one another because of their beliefs in people that they handpick. But we have seen an escalation here recently into the upper echelons of some of these alphabet gangs out here, your FBI, DOJ, all this infighting, so to speak. Now we're hearing word of these secret societies or a secret society that could have had a role in trying to stop Trump in getting elected. And they're trying to say that this was agents connected to the DOJ, the FBI. And we have these two coming out on television talking about how all this information is now vanished from the FBI, let's not forget the NSA, and all the NSA stuff that they were court-ordered to hold has vanished. You want to talk about a secret society, guys? There you go with one. But yet these guys want to make mention that these two agents were talking about a secret society and trying to stop Trump from advancing and all this other stuff. So, do they ever mention the secret society? Heck no, they don't. Where do they get these people for their secret societies? Well, it's pretty obvious. They get them at places like Harvard, Yale, Stanford. You know, the Stanford that Tillerson just went and talked to the other day. They didn't tell the rest of the American people across the country their plan for war in Syria and that ISIS has been defeated and that they're going after Assad. No, no, they didn't. Tillerson only addressed the audience at Stanford. Why would he do that? Because those are the individuals they care about. That's the group of individuals that are going to have guys getting a tap on the shoulder and invited to uh, dinner into this secret society meeting. And they are very real. You need to do your research on the first Bush, John Kerry, all them, the Bonesmen. Everything that happened with uh, breaking into a couple places to retrieve a few things and all the theatrics to go along with what they're doing inside of these secret societies. And our, our establishment, so to speak, this freaking puppet show of politicians, so to speak, they've sold us out, in my opinion. These guys can sit here and they can talk about this or that. It, it's only because we're getting close. And they're trying to throw the people a bone, in my opinion. They're not giving a name, none of this other stuff. They won't dare at this point. But the talk of the establishment... Secret societies, they are very real. And then trying to mention this out there in front of the masses, it gets the wheels turning. But you don't have to look too far to see where some of these things are rooted. It goes all the way back to Washington. Your master masons of this country. These are the things we have talked about for years that people just wanted to turn a cheek to. It's very real. I'm going to leave some links here with more information. Make sure to tune in to Underground World News Live this Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. We're going to be talking about this in a whole lot more in detail. Should be a good one. Hope to see you guys there.